so friends in our last video we have discussed the first 10 questions from the question paper of Assam University beyond entrance examination 2017 in this video we will continue our discussion from question number 11 so dynamic approach to teaching means forceful and effective teaching Teachers should be energetic and dynamic. Students require to learn through activities. Teaching should not be static but dynamic. Look, a teaching never can never be forceful and, and then effective. Also, students learn through activity is not a dynamic approach. Dynamic approach to teaching means teachers should be energetic and dynamic. Then the most important challenge before a teacher is to maintain classroom discipline, to make students to do their home assignments, to prepare a question paper, to make teaching learning enjoyable. So out of maintaining classroom discipline and make students do their homework assignments and to prepare question paper, all three are not as much important as to make the teaching learning enjoyable to make the teaching learning interesting and enjoyable this is the most important thing or most important challenge for a teacher number 13 a teacher can be successful if she how is when we say that a teacher is successful help students to become better citizen impart subject knowledge to students prepare students to pass examination present subject matter in a well organized manner so success of a teacher lies in presenting the subject in a well organized form in a sequential manner so the correct option is answer d if you get an opportunity to teach visually challenged students along with normal students what type of treatment would you give him her in the class so in a class if there is visually challenged children blind children or partially blind children along with the normal students what would you do may not give special attention since majority in the class may suffer due to it we will not give special attention to the uh, partially blind children or take care of him or sympathetically in the classroom you will sh show sympathy towards uh, that visually impaired children or it is only blindness and no special care is needed then provide him her in front row to sit and try to teach in a pace convenient to him or her. So, option D is the most appropriate option. You will make that partially blind children in the front row so that he can see the blackboard to some extent. And also, you will make your teaching speed in such a way that the child can adjust him, him or her. Question number 15. A new teacher can start his career in a classroom by enforcing discipline, establishing a rapport with students, mentioning his qualifications, teaching directly the content matter. When the teacher enters the classroom for the first time, the first duty of a teacher is to establishing a rapport, establishing a connection with the students rather than uh, enforcing discipline or teaching the contact matter directly or mentioning his or qualifications these all are unnecessary things the most important is establishing rapport with the students the next question for a teacher who is correct which is which is the correct way of writing on a blackboard out of the following which one we, we should follow while writing on a blackboard write everything as fast as possible no Ask questions to students and write the answer on blackboard. Write only important points as clearly as possible. Write all points first and ask students to read it. So blackboard is used only for summary work or writing the key points or the most important points. So you will use the blackboard for only to write the important points and, uh, and you should write them clearly. So option C is the correct answer. Question number 17. What is the major responsibility with which school personnel have been entrusted with? So a school personnel, a teacher, a headmaster is entrusted with which of the following responsibility? Harmonizing the needs of the child and demands of the society for benefit of both. 
adjusting the social demands to fit the nature and needs of the child, changing human nature to conform social expectation, adjusting the child to conform to the demands of the society. Option D will be the correct option because you will make the children learn those things so that he can function better in the society where he lives. So you will make children learn those social customs, social rules and make the children adjusted to the society. So option D is the correct answer. The greatest satisfaction in teaching is monetary rewards and job security. So when we say that the teaching gives us the most satisfaction, is it because um, it gives us money? No. Sense of service to a society, this can be the answer. Sense of contribution to people's growth, feeling of love for and by the children. So. Teaching is a service to us, this is the most appropriate option. The most, the greatest satisfaction in teaching is the, that you are doing something for the society. You are, you are, uh, a, this is a service to the society. This is the great, uh, greatest satisfaction of teaching. Then pre-service teacher education program such as B.Ed. will best help you. What does, how does B.Ed. help us? To secure a good job, this is not... Uh, always the most correct option to learn the systematic and effective teaching this can be the answer to save time gap between graduation and post graduation no to prepare yourself for competitive examinations no the correct option is option b because beard helps us to learn systematic and effective teaching then question number 20 a prime requisite for one who enters the teaching profession one who enters the teaching profession which of the following is utmost needed an iq greater than 125 no you no need to have that much iq for teaching profession good physical and mental health this is necessary but not absolutely uh, important then public speaking ability and then good family status out of these four public speaking ability is uh, I think the most a prime requisite for teaching profession.